हेलो डी स्टूडेंट सो दिस इज क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर और आर एम ओ टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी थ्री तो बच्चों इस क्वेश्चन में हमें दो सर्कल्स की बन थे जो इंटरसेक्ट कर रहे थे राइट right? और एक लाइन थी ए बी सी डी जो दोनों सर्कल को कट कर रही थी राइट एंड देन वी ड्रॉ लाइन पी क्यू विच इज परपेंडिकुलर बाई सेक्टर ऑफ ए बी एंड आर एस दैट इज अ परपेंडिकुलर बाई सेक्टर ऑफ सी डी एंड वी हैव टू प्रूव दैट द मिड पॉइंट ऑफ पी आर ओ वन ओ टू एंड क्यू एस आर राइट सो आई हैव मेड सम कंस्ट्रक्शंस हियर आई हैव मेड परपेंडिकुलर्स फ्रॉम ओ वन एंड ओ टू टू द लाइन ए डी एंड अगेन वी नो दैट एज इफ वी ड्रॉ अपर पेंडिकुलर्स फ्रॉम द सेंटर्स इट बाइसेक्ट्स द कोड राइट सो ओ वन के बाइसेक्ट ए सी कोड एंड ओ टू एल बाइसेक्ट बी डी कोड सो ओ वन के bisect the chord of first circle that is ac and o2l bisects the chord of second circle that is bd okay to agar aap isme dekho to hamare paas parallel lines ke set mil rahe hain hame just jaise ki pq and rs both are perpendicular to ad so these are two are perpendicular lines right so we can say that prsq prsq is a is a trapezium where pq is parallel to rs right so i have drawn here a trapezium let's say this is p uh, and uh, pq is parallel to rs right so pq rs let's say this is a trapezium where pq is parallel to rs so we know some properties of a trapezium if we have this line let's say this call as mn if it is uh, mn are the midpoints if mn are the midpoints then mn is parallel to pq as well as rs so by the same property we can say here that mn is parallel to rs as well as pq right now the second thing is uh, if we talk about the line ef can we say that the line mn let's say it intersect ef at x can we say that x is the midpoint of ef again if we come to this uh, diagram so what we have here now Uh, we have a parallel lines PQ and RS, and we have drawn some lines here. Let's say this is mm, whatever you can name them X, Y, R, A, B, C, D, right? So as M N will bisect X, Y, A, B, and C, D as well. this is again a property of a uh, parallel lines if we have a lines pq and rs in parallel and mn is a parallel to these two lines and mid also joining the mid points so whatever line transversely we make here it also bisects that line we say bol them equal intercept theorem this is called equal intercept theorem right so by that also we can say that uh, x is a midpoint of that point of ef as we have to prove as we have to prove that y let's say this mn line intersect o1 o2 line at y so we have to prove that y is a midpoint so if we use uh, this con uh, same concept here to prove y is a midpoint so what we have to do as if you see k l o2 o1 is a trapezium because o1 k and o2 l are parallel again a perpendicular to ad right and uh, if we somehow prove that x is a midpoint of kl if we somehow prove that x is a midpoint of kl then by again equal intercept theorem because this line is parallel to pq rs as well as ko and lo2 so i can say x i hope this is clear because ko1 be at k perpendicular or pq be at k perpendicular lines are parallel so if we somehow prove that x is a midpoint of ef then uh, by the theorem or we use in the trapezium theorem that if x is a midpoint and draw a line parallel to the given parallel lines 
then the opposite point is also a midpoint right so it's very easy thing so the only thing we have to see here can we prove that x is a midpoint of k l right so that is the only thing that we have to see here whether it is a midpoint can we prove this is a midpoint or not okay let's see so basically jo kx and xl we have to prove right we can say that it is ex minus ke uh, is equal to is equal to fx minus f this is we have to prove now ex and fx are equal because x is a midpoint of ef so we have to prove ke is equal to f that ke is equal to f l so if we know f is a midpoint of cd and l is a midpoint of bd similarly ke is a midpoint of ac and e is a midpoint of k so if i say ab is 2x and then bc as 2y and cd is 2z right so what is ak ak is basically ac by 2 so ac will be 2x plus 2y by 2 that is x plus y and what is ae a is basically nothing but ab by 2 that is x so what is ke ke will be x plus y minus x that is y right so ke is y in a similar way you can prove that lf is also y so in this way we can say that x is a midpoint of kl and we are drawing a line through x parallel to the given parallel lines that is k1 and l2 so it definitely intersect o1 to at a midpoint so y is a midpoint of o1 in this way m x y and n are collinear thank you